Okay, so last time I think we just left off with the uh, folds. So this time we'll just start off with the text and the layer and stuff. So we're going to come over here to make new layer group, which is to the left of the make new layer button right here. So we just made the new layer group. And then we'll select our type and then just drag out our type tool. And then just drag out a little section right there and type in uh, how much reward you want to give. Oops, reward. I'm doing all caps just because I think it gives a little pretty good effect. So reward and then click this little check mark right there or click control enter good and then we'll make a new layer and then we'll come up here and we'll say wanted and if you get if you get it if you folds over just like that just open up these uh, just spread it out a little bit more and it should work out cool looks all right and then oh the font that I'm using by the way is um, black oak standard it's just a regular one that I just tried to make sure that everybody had and then come over right here and then type in dead dead or alive and then if it's not big enough you can just move it like that dead or alive Rrr, that looks pretty good doesn't look too bad cool and you can see that they're all in that little group right there so the next what we're going to do with the group is we're going to select the group actual uh, panel thing right there right there and then we're going to go fill or uh, yeah and then we're going to go filter oops I mean uh, my mistake create a mask for it and so select the group and then create a mask for it and then go filter noise add noise and then I think I'm going to have mine right around 60 percent so just right around there um, and you can see how it's changing on the font uh, on the background right there. Actually, no, I think I'll go right around forty percent. I like that. And then make sure the distribution is uniform and uh, you have monochromatic checked. It. Cool. Uh, looks good. And then we want to fade this just a little bit. Fade this whole group just to get a little faded look. Doesn't look too bad. And then everything here kind of looks a little bit too um, almost like standard. And so we're going to have our group selected. Oh, my mistake. And then what we're going to do is um, we're going to cover here. We're going to select all three of these and we're going to say rasterize type. And make sure you have your type what you want it before you click this because then you won't be able to change the letters or anything after that. And so you rasterize it. Cool. Come up to our filter. Liquify. Oh, that's my mistake. That's just like the thing. And then we're going to come uh, select one of the layers and go filter liquify. And as you can see here, um, we're just going to uh, adjust it a little bit and I have brush density, brush size around 34, brush density 50 and brush pressure t uh, 100 and let's come over here and we'll just uh, move this just a little bit just to get a little like ruffled look you know doesn't look too bad cool, looks actually a little bad right there we'll see, that'd be alright and then liquefy liquefy this wanted Brush size just a little bit bigger. That yeah, I'm not doing a very good job with that, but that's okay. Look if I when you have more time you can mess around with it a little bit more. Reward. Cool. And see, just looks a little more ruffled, looks looks a little better. And then the next thing we're gonna do is I want to add a picture to this and so I already have a picture waiting for us right here and so I'll just um, select this and then copy this guy and then I want to make a new layer on top of so I don't want it to be in the group oops and so I'm gonna take this layer and just put put it above the group right there and then click control T and then or control V and then there's the guy make him a little bit smaller Yeah, doesn't look too bad. Looks like it'll be all right. And then we're gonna go with this layer selector. We're gonna go image adjustments desaturate. And so he turns he turns black and white. And then we're gonna turn the blending mode to linear burn. And so then it gets it gets uh, that little gray texture right there. <coughs> and then what we're gonna do is. We're going to come over here and we're going to do uh, adjustment layer and then we're going to go levels and we're going to just bring these guys over 
oops, nope. We want to clip this lip. So we're going to do uh, the levels, and then, yeah, so it'll, it'll be okay. Like, there's no, no need to worry. I'm going to bring over to, uh, bring this over to about 81. Good, that looks all right. And then what we want, we want to clip this layer, so control G, and then that'll have only our guy selected. And as you can see here, he just, uh, it just looks like he's part of the, um, looks like he's part of the po por por portrait. And then maybe the last thing we can do is just um, uh, add another layer, and then fill this with 50% gray. Edit fill, 50% gray. And then change this to soft light. Now come over here with our burn tool, and we can just um, where am I at right here? Or with our brush or whatever you'd like, and just uh, put some spots right there. You know, not too bad. And um, yeah, you know, I mean, if uh, last thing we'll probably do just to finish this off, we'll take our eraser tool and come back to our main picture of the layer of the guy and then just uh, we want to make sure that this is pretty soft hardness and then match the diameters up a little bit cool and then as you can see here just softening up these edges making them making them blend in just a little bit more cool doesn't look too bad right there and um, yeah you know that's pretty much it that's what I think we'll do and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope the finishing off worked out. And if you have any questions, just message me or email me. Or if you have any cool topics, just want to say go check out my blog at scarchclothing.blogspot.com for other cool stuff and my clothing I'm starting to start. I'm trying to start. Thank you very much. Okay, bye.